out windy out here today. Hope it's not too windy for the mic, but we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, we'll try this way. Maybe it's less. Okay, time for a little stroll on the beach and got a question from a uh, viewer. Asked about stem cell burnout. How many times can you dry fast in a row before you start burning out your stem cells? Well, you know, that's really kind of a misnomer. You don't burn out your stem cells. Stem cell burnout usually comes from, you know, in later in life and age problems because just like any cell, <laughs> it's going to get damaged. You can have genetic damage from radiation and chemicals and all that kind of stuff. And you end up with cells that can't be retrieved even your stem cells so, <laughs> your, anyway anyway that's photo bombing anyway so the idea here is your stem cells can burn out because they can get damaged just like because they're cells and especially these days when these things have been put inside of us that <laughs> confound the whole process which the worst of two ones get in there and try to fix genetic damage those cells will pop off now, the Russians have 11 day cycles of healing, big, big problems like cancers and stuff. And they say you have to wait at least a month before you do another 11 day. But, you know, they don't do these things for our reason, which is to have a cyclic regeneration of stem cells to populate more of the uh, embryonic copies. So you have more <laughs> kind of a, a higher ratio of immortal cells. So that's really the problem. There's not stem cell burnout. You don't want to do a lot of dry fasting because it's really hard on the system. You know, this is a major hermetic stress. And sure, it's not so bad. You can't put up with it. You can't survive it. The problem is, it's a hard stress. You know, you want to go ahead and do these things and then come back from it and get strong, practice the stuff in neogenesis, build your muscles, build your bones. Practice good eating habits so you, you know, build your microbiome and don't get autoimmune diseases, that kind of stuff. But the, uh, <laughs> but there is something you can do about it. Since these are just cells, do what I do. I take uh, my resveratrol 1000, which gives you, in each pill, 500 milligrams of transresveratrol, which is the one that actually does the work. Uh, they don't activate your tunes. What they do is they, synth they activate the synthesis of NAD. NAD is the molecule that turns on the sirtuins. The sirtuins go in there and repair the genetic damage. So, let's say you have some stem cells in there that has a little bit of damage. But you have the resveratrol to activate the NAD, to activate the sirtuins, sirt 1 and 2, to uh, fix the stuff inside the nucleus. Voila! No stem cell burnout because the stem cells get repaired. You know, apoptosis happens all over the body all the time because you know, senescent cells occur all the time. One of the reasons is just because as your cell gets this buildup of this damage, and let's say it's enough damage they can't replicate. So if you can't replicate, it's just going to sit there and cook. Take more and more bad proteins and accumulate in the cell. The cell goes senescent, it doesn't die, it starts pumping out all these cytokines around it and damage, you know, surrounding cells, making more senescent cells, and that's why I take Physitin. Physitin is the only proven senolytic that actually solves that problem. So, if you just take some Physitin and some transresveratrol in the resveratrol 1000, I do it twice, you know, once a day. I do two pills of each in the morning with yogurt, and it works great because it prevents senescent cells from building up. It kills senescent cells that can't be retrieved. And the resveratrol 1000 activates NAD so that the cells that are damaged can be repaired before they go senescent. That's the big deal, you know. I put a little berberine with the resveratrol because it helps get the resveratrol in the cells so it can make the NAD+. Plus. Um, that's, that's kind of the deal, you know. It's not stem cell burnout. It's just stem cell degeneration because it will happen over time. Unless you have sirtuins that are keeping up with the damage, deacetylating de and, and patching up code so you have your genetics working all the time. Anyway, I hope that answers the question.
and you probably noticed I have my Prevent Wildfires t-shirt on for my friends up in Canada. Uh, only you can prevent forest fires. And I will talk to you soon. Be good and live fearless.